Young girl. <laughs> what are you doing here all by yourself? You're supposed to be in school. Are you okay? Why are you crying? Okay, what's your name? My name is Wama. Wama. So why are you here? All alone? Crying? I was sent out of school to pay my school fees. And your parents, why don't they want to pay your school fees? <coughs> my father is sick. <coughs> and my father is not doing well in her business. The only brother I have is in the city. <coughs> Seven is master. Stop crying, okay? Once there's life, there's hope. Hmm? How much is your school fees? Three hundred naira. That's okay. Don't worry. Let's go and see your principal. No, no, no! I can't go back to that school. Don't throw me out. No, don't worry. Let us see your principal first, okay? Yeah, let's go. Come on. our principal that he is interested in taking care of my studies. Hey, and you said that this man's name is what? Innocent. Innocent. Where is he from? I think he's from this town. Which village? Papa, I don't know. He said he'll be coming to see you people, so when he comes, you Ask him. All right. Let's wait until he comes. I can't wait to see this man that did this for this family. He must be a nice man. And whoever this person is, I pray that God will bless you. Amen. God will enlarge your coast. Amen. Let the blessings of God be upon you. Amen. My son. Mama, our daughter, has told us everything. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mama. Thank you very much. It's only God that will reward you. There is nothing I am a sick husband can do to pay you back. Mama, but I'm not asking for any reward. Hey, Papa. Mama told me that you have been sick for some time now. Yes. What actually is the problem? I've been diabetic. Sorry. Why haven't you been to the hospital? Actually, we've been to the hospital, but we spent all we had and we don't have any other money to continue with the treatment. Meaning that we would allow him to die? God forbid. Okay, I will give you some money to continue with the treatment. You know, diabetes can be controlled 
And once it is controlled, it's not a serious condition. studies. I hope you're doing well. Yes, I'm trying my best not to let my parents and you down. Okay. Uh, my son, my daughter said you are from this town. Yes. Which village? I'm from. I am the son of uh, late Mazi Ubaka Onyekwa. From Uwala village. Well, Uwala village is a very nice village. Thank you, sir. But this Mazu, go back on your way. I don't know him very well. You know, my father died a long time ago. I, uh, I am based in the city myself, so I only come to the village when I have uh, business to transact. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, I brought some things for you. Uh, Ma, please help me to bring those things from my booth. Thank, Thank you, my son. Yeah. Mm. Hey. I like it. I like it so much. Eh? Yeah. You mean that's the man that paid your school fees? Mm. But all these things for you? That's not all, though. Eh? Hey. hey, talk to me, oh. See, he brought bag of rice. Uh -huh. He brought a. Uh, uh -huh. He brought two bars of yam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's one bread something like that that he brought. They used to spray it on top of bread. Uh -huh. Hi, I think it's all you. Oh, you brought people something. You need to see hey. it. Hi. Now, wow. Say! That one must be a very good man. Yes. Eh? Hmm. Eh, but Uma, hmm? what does he say he want? Yeah. He didn't say he, he wanted anything. Are you sure? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, I think he's just being generous. Generous? Hey! Okay, generous. Hmm. Ah, what is it now? I said okay now. Congrats, my dear. My. When I look at your daughter's pretty face, <laughs> I remember those <laughs> good old days. <laughs> uh, you will never change. Mama, my daughter. Papa. <coughs> that young man, innocent. What about him, Papa? His kindness to us cause for concern. Considering all he has done for us within this short period of time, I wonder what his motives may be. Since you know him better, maybe you tell us. Uh, 
Does it mean that one cannot help someone without asking for anything in return? One out of a million in our society now. See, young men of these days can spend or do anything to get what they want. Hmm. Why not send this say anything to me now? What if he tells you? What are you going to answer him? He didn't ask me for anything. Ah. Ah. Oh. so that you greet my parents. Oh, I'm in a haste now. You know, there's the man I bought land from. And if I waste any time, I will miss both the man and the land there. Eh? I'll come, that's it, by the end of the month. So, Brino, when will you come? Brino, no, 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 no. You will come next week. Call me, honey. You're my wife now. If it will make you happy, I'll come. I'll come. Okay. Innocent. Innocent. Why didn't he come inside at least to greet us? Uh, he said he's rushing to meet his business partner. I see. Go inside and get me some water. I knew that man was up to something. So, are your friends that will up to No, hey, you're my friend. And that's why I, I came to seek your advice. If you ask me, eh, I will tell you to accept it. 
Eh? Yes. Marry him. Mm. He seems a nice man. Mm -hmm. Just marry him, okay? Mm? Mm. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Let me rush you and help my father, okay? Just Thank get you. your parents for me. Thank you very Take much. Take care, yeah. Bye. Son, I've heard what you said, and uh, my wife here, I'm sure, also heard you. Oh, yes, I did. You said you want to marry our daughter, Ma. Yes. <laughs> Have you discussed with her? Mm, I just briefed her some weeks ago. And what did she say? She accepted. Hey! Can you find it, Chesim? Are you sure she accepted? Yes, she did. <laughs> oh, well, my son, since both of you have discussed and accepted to marry each other, who are we to say no to this? Do as a man. I've been thinking that one day your relationship with this family will come to this. And now that it has happened, oh, I don't need to draw a fast conclusion on this. I've also had to hear from my daughter. Nevertheless, get your people ready. Don't forget to inform me in time so that I'll tell my people too when you come. Okay? It's alright. It's alright. Thank you. Uh, I'll be on my way now. Bye bye. Oh, Mama. Mama, what? what gets you? Mama, sit down. How are you, Mike? Mama, sit down. Hey, Mama, just relax. 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 No. No, I got that. Hey. Hey. Mama. Innocent he has said he has discussed with you. Eh? <laughs> God bless you. Thank you, Master. Oh. Hey, what is that? Uncle, yes. What I'm saying is that Ma would not marry that wretched man who calls himself innocent. Boy. Look at my father lying sick in the hospital. And I'm still serving my master. There's no money to treat Papa. Just because our so-called proposed in-law cannot afford the money to treat Papa. But look at this godsend, Chivo Ochirozo. But Uncle, you know now, yes, Chivo yes. Ochirozo has the ability to do everything possible to save Papa's life. Yeah. He had even promised to fly him abroad for his treatment. Yeah. If only, Uncle, if only this man here would agree to his proposal. And you're here telling me uh, uh, you want to marry one church rat. I agree with Charles. My brother's life is so important to us. We need money to save his life. Please, Mama, tell us that you have accepted that man, Ochila as well, so that we can send a message across to his people. Eh? Because the earlier the better. <coughs> Hi! <coughs> Obviously, my daughter. That young man may have been good to you. So you know. That belonged to the past. Mm -hmm. It is history. Hi. Yes. Your father's life is more important to us. Yes. We need money to save his life. Exactly. Your brother here, as you can see, is yet to be settled by his master. Ego Jolo. Ego. Ego Jolo. Ego. Please help us. Yaka, please. Uncle, enough. Enough of all this. Enough! So you people want to go and enslave me in that man's house? Ochirozunu. Just because we promised you money for Papa's treatment. Right? Uncle, where was Ochirozunu when I was sent out of school? Where was he? 
but innocent, took care of me, clothed me, put food on our table. And you want me to leave him now that because he has problem in his business. Uncle, I can never marry that man. Oh. I cannot. Uncle, even all of you here drank from the drink he brought. Yes, we did. It is our right. Yes. Even this ingrate here, you drank from the drink that he brought. See, even people don't have anything to say. I don't even have any words to talk with you with this place at all. I don't, I, don't, I don't even have anything to say. We have enough lands. Sell any of the lands and take care of Papa's street better in the hospital. Ah! We are not selling any land. Hey, my brother. Is that not too good? Mama. <laughs> Mama, what is this? Mama, talk to me now. What Calm is this? Down. Mama. Calm down. Mama, Mama, what is this now? Mama, what is it? Mama, talk to me. What is this? Mama, what is it now? Where is it? What happened? Your father, my husband, is dead. <laughs> hey! 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 Why? I said it. Why? Why? Help my boots. What kind of disturbance is this? Every time you keep stopping me to help you, you won't say I didn't warn you before getting this stuff. You won't say I didn't warn you. It's my fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. Because your sister is asking you for a little assistance, just little money to start up something. Is that the reason why you're shouting? Backing like a dog. Look at your, your, your friends inside there. Insulting your sister. Calling her all sorts of names in her presence. Charles. Odipamma. Odipamma. Now go and check it, Charles. You have the money, why not go in there and help your sister? You are blaming me. You and my late father were there when I was kicking against her marriage to that innocent. And what did you do? Nothing. And now you are heaping all the blames on me. In fact, I don't even have time. I hope what I dropped for you will be enough for you because I don't have time to listen to Only oh, enough! Just only oh, enough! It is not enough! Just come back here! Come back and help your sister! Okay. Up one year, we're going one year, one one year! Just! Mama, but why is Just treating me like this now? Is it my fault? Why is he treating me like this? <laughs> What is the problem? And, and, and why are you shouting at your sister like that? No, forget it. It's nothing. Honey, I, I saw you shouting at your sister and you said I should forget it. Am I a stranger or your fiancé? I said it's nothing. And you should forget it. It's a family matter. Don't you get it? I am not part of the family, right? Honey, why are you talking like this? Okay, okay. We'll talk about it later, okay? Please. Me. Who else can live with you? Come over. Okay. Okay. Wow, Madam. Yes. Good day, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> What's your name? Eh? It seems you're just coming back for the weekend. Yes, yes. It looks so beautiful in this address, like uh, a village beauty. Yes. Huh? Thank you. So, how's thank your family? You. Fine, fine. Thank you. We thank God for this message. And you? I'm fine, as always. Uh, 
Why is it that you have never stopped that by at my village house? Uh, like others do to come and take some gifts. Huh? That is not good of you. I don't buy it. Others think you will not understand. Eh? You see, I I am the only person helping my husband in our farm work. And after that, I have to go back home for some domestic shows. Look, look, that reason is not good enough. Huh? Look, God has blessed me with money, so I bless others. Just come and take a little share from me. I don't buy it. Look, my door is always open for you when you come to the house. Okay, let me drop you off. Oh, no, no. Thanks. Thank you very much. I just have to see you. Okay. Don't forget. My door is always open. Thank All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. My regards to your family. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 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 me to be happy with my sister when she insisted on marrying that church rat innocent after all my warnings my father died because we couldn't raise money for his treatment and I remember so many rich men coming for her hands in marriage and she rejected all of them just because of that thing that miserable innocent girl what is it good story why are you right my dear no one wants his or her sister to be married to a man she will later suffer. Yes! <laughs> now you understand. Mm -hmm. you are, you are, I mean, surprised. What, a, what about 40,000 naira I have in my pocket? Oh, that? I have it in the car. Uh, it's no problem. Thank you, honey. Anything. Honey. Yeah? There's something else I, I want you to do for me. Really? Yeah. 
I've not done it because you've not said it. Oh. <laughs> Anything. Oh. Um, there's so. this uh, duplex. Together with two cars. One of my friends told me. Um, she said the owner wants to sell them at the cost of 52 million. 52 million? Yeah, um, I, I, I want you to buy them. Where? Chica! Where do you expect me to get that kind of money from? Where? 52 million naira. Then you are a fool. Yes, you are the common fool, just. Come on, 52 million naira, you are here only your mouth like a wounded Yes. Do you know how many men that are out there promising to do more than that for me? But no, 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 I refuse all because of you. Trying to crucify your own sister simply because she's married to a man she loves. What if I have a bundle down to your marriage? One of those things. You won't be. So you see, all fingers are not equal. Have you finished? Get your stinking self out of my house. Have you finished? Get yourself out of my house. I don't want to ever see you again. Chica! Chica! She was talking to me. Mama, I'm back. I met you. Mama, I was sent out to school because of my school fees. School fees? Okay, don't worry. When your father comes back, we will go and pay your school fees. My people will go and pay my school fees. I'm not going to stay in this house tomorrow. Uh -uh. I said you should go inside. When your father comes back, we'll know what to do about it. Night time, you are not going to pay your school fees. Very, very okay. Hmm? Uh, yeah. But he picked nail eh, in two places. Uh, but it's okay now. So, eh? how much now? Um, you, well, you know, you need an increase price. So, each nail, 200 naira. Uh -huh. Two of them. Just what is it? 500 naira. Okay, no. Hey! I don't have up to that amount, so please. Yeah. Let's say you, you've not stopped this thing. Eh? Yeah. Are they, look, are they one way? Is that things are they one? You don't price this thing. This is stand this. Come on, one standard. My friend, I don't want you give my message. Okay, okay, no, then let's. Oh. I, 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 I see two mouths. Two mouths is oh, 400 naira. I, I am managed 300 naira. They me. don't price I, it. I this, my, my passenger is waiting for me. Let me rush. Yeah. <laughs> I just brought your food. Let me help you open it. Thank you very much. Hi. Honey, I met you was sent out of school today. The person has not paid the school fees. You know what? Whatever it would take on. Amechi must get a university education. If I had my university education, now that I have problem, 
I would have used my certificate to look for a job. But now, anyway, anyway, let's see what tomorrow can get. I know I, I have to, God, God, God is not asleep. Don't worry, it's going to be fine. Okay? God, I don't know. Oh. Hope you like it. That's my briefcase, I don't want to be late. What is it again? Why are you looking moody? Brother. You're traveling again. <laughs> and I have to stay in this big house alone. Come on, what's your problem? There's enough food, there's enough drinks, enough money to last and I come back. And I got you a car just to make sure you don't depend on mine. Right. Like those will give me all the comfort I need. They are good, yes, but it's not the same, brother. They won't give me the comfort I need. No. They can't chat me up. I can't chat them back. They shut them up too. Just but it's really boring around here. Really, it is. Okay, let me paint the situation right now. Let's just say there's some form of danger around the house and I need to run to safety and... For the car, the money and... Yeah, this is not going to be any danger. You're not going to come to any harm, alright? Huh? And you know quite well why I got to the village these days. It's because of the factory and About that, factory, what are you going to do with isn't it time you employed someone to oversee things for you on your behalf? Do you have to go there like every other week by yourself? It just doesn't go down well. It's not right, brother. Seriously. You know what? <laughs> I think it's better I traveled back to London stay with Brother Joe. Because seriously, I'm not having fun here. I... No, no. Don't go back. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll call her on my travels, okay? Make sure you have to. All right? But nothing is going to happen to you. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, it's my own senior for the time. Now, this is... Huh? Everything is going to be all right, yeah? I'm very impressed with you. So what are we going to do about it? Honestly, I don't know. I've gone around this village to know whether the people that I work for will pay me. Not even one naira. This whole village man. Let me, what about if I should go to Amechi's headmistress? and beg her so that Amechi can be coming to school until we have money to pay this You think she will listen to you? You know she has been doing us this favor and the last time we went to her she told you that that will be the last time she will do the favor. Honey, there is no harm in trying. Okay? Please. Let me just go and talk to her. If you, if you think so. I'll sleep with Papa now, so I'm not going to go to school. Who told you you're not going to school? I've spoken to your headmistress yesterday, and she told me that you will come to school until we are able to pay your school fees. But, Mama, 
Why is it that I'm always sent out of school because of school fees? And every time you go to your mistress begging. Come, my son. Come. Eh? You won't understand. Just go inside and dress. <laughs> Why am I around, ma? Strafnu, sir. Kado? I thought you've gone back to the city. No, I still have a lot of work to do in the factory. Uh, Were you coming to my house? No, no. I went to my husband's workshop. How is he doing? He's fine. We thank God. Good. Um... Buy yourself a drink. No, 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 sir. Thank you. It's from my heart. You are Mego? Yes. Uh -huh, well. Thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless you. Good. All right. What do you see, K.O.? was in my house yesterday, almost <coughs> crying. He said I should come beg you to forgive him. That he has tried several times to, to explain to you, but you wouldn't listen to him. I... <sighs> well, I've heard you, Juliet. But you know my type of person. You know me. I'm sure he's told you to cause of the problem. Of course he told me everything. Now let me ask you, if you were a child's sister and he brought home a girl, introduced her to you people as his fiancé, along the line he started shouting, screaming and harassing everybody in the presence of this same girl, to the extent of refusing to help you his sister, what will you think? Well, I would think maybe his so-called fiancé is now telling him what to do. That's my problem! That's exactly what Charles is trying to turn me to! Enemy of his family. God forbid. God, Juliet. Juliet, you need to see the way and manner of which Charles used to talk to his elder sister, who is married. Simply because her husband is poor. God. That guy is wicked, I tell you. Very wicked. She just calm down. Take it easy, okay? So, what is going to happen now? Because I believe he must have learned his lesson. Only he promised to change. Because I don't want to live in a divided home. My parents would not be happy to hear that. There's a problem. I'll talk to him, okay? You better do. I'll make sure I talk to him, okay? Just chill. Ah. Is that why you're angry? Just calm down, okay? He's making me go mad. Check on him next weekend. Check on him? Mm -hmm. What for? Mm, I don't really know. Well, that's the way he's
no, no. You are not Charles. Eh? Charles, please, now. Charles, be cool, no. Eh? Please. Charles, be cool, no. You just have to help me and my family. Eh? Because no, no, just small money, small money, so that I can just start up a little business for me and my family. Woman, listen. Eh? The earlier you understand this fact, the better for you. You've forgotten what I was begging you to marry one of those rich men, and you refused. They would have been the ones helping this family by now. Nonsense. Poor well, Charles, God has helped you. Eh? God has blessed you. Why not put yesterday behind you? Eh? Please now. Eh? Just help me out. That is because you've forgotten how Papa died. You've forgotten that Papa died because you insisted on marrying that idiot of a man. How dare you call my husband an idiot? See who is talking. How dare you? See, Charles, eh, 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 eh. if you can insult me, you can insult me, slap me, beat me, do anything to me. I will not have you insult my husband. Enough! Husband. I will not. Enough of all this! <laughs> Charles, Charles, what is your problem? No, tell me, what is your problem? How dare you call my son-in-law an idiot? Can you imagine? Is it not just a little assistant from you to your, to your sister and the family? Even if you don't want to do it, do it just because of Amechi. Your mama, I said I don't have money. I don't have money to give them. Maya is a useless woman. I'll... How dare you? Have you lost your senses? Have you? Ma. That you made money yesterday does not mean you should insult me. Ma. You slap me. I'll slap you again. Enough! Charles. Mama, mama, mama. I said you. enough! I said enough. Charles. No problem. Mama, no problem. Oh. Charles, no problem because you made money, Abby. There is no problem because you made money, we should worship you. No problem. No problem. What, what have both of you told me? Charles. Charles, I'm really disappointed. Mama, you were here when Mama slapped me. You caused it. How dare you call her a useless woman? Where are your manners? Charles, this is not good at all. Too bad. Okay. No problem. Too bad. Do you have a minute? I won't talk to you. You want to close your troubles, huh? What is it this time? Um. But uh, the curiosity is killing me. Why don't you want to get married? Isn't there any other thing you don't want to talk about than marriage, marriage, marriage? Well, because I'm the only one in a position to constantly remind you of such things. Yeah, I mean, given that Papa and Mama are dead and I am the only daughter, so it simply means I'm doing my job. Please, allow me. But, uh, you are very comfortable. You are financially buoyant. You have all of what money can buy. You have chains of businesses scattered all over. But all of such things, all of them stuff without a wife and children to inherit and carry on the legacy just doesn't make sense. They are useless. Yeah. Meaning what? Well, the reason I'm ranting about this is because very soon I'll leave you. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I'd rather blame Papa and Mama who never allowed you to come home frequently to understand the culture here. Otherwise, how would you be talking to me that way? That's disrespect. Why would you be talking to me like this? Marriage, 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 that's all I get. Alright, watch TV and marry the TV. Oh, I'm sorry, but I just didn't think it would upset you.
How you doing? I'm good. Oh, you look good. Thank you. It's wonderful. Hi, it's Mama. Mama is fine. Hi, uh, hey, it's a sister, brother, family. I have this. Yeah, I did. You know what I would always do. I'm sure you gave them something. Something like what? Money. Yes, I gave them money. How much did you give to them? Because you know they might have lots of problems to solve. I can't remember the amount I gave to them, but I know I gave them enough. You know me now. <laughs> Are you, are you sure you give them something? Because I know you too well. <laughs> don't you trust me anymore? Oh yes, I don't. Go and get me a glass of water to drink, please. I'm glad I don't. Fast about it. Well, I prepared your favorites. No, no, right. Really? <laughs> I can't wait then to get it. Oh. When I sent my boys to call you, you were proving stubborn, making your shakara initial gra gra. You know, <clears throat> I just wanted to be sure that you are serious. I don't want this um, use and dump game. Oh, no. Tell me about it. Yeah? Tell me about it. You know now. Uh -uh. You know, how are you? I'm fine, sir. How did you know I was here? Um, I've been to the house. And they directed me here. Oh, please pull a chair. Please show you. A drink for you? No, sir. Oh, come on, a cold beer will be okay for you. No, I don't take alcohol. I don't take alcohol too. <laughs> well, if that's what you want, I actually sent it for you because I think uh, you need help. I want you to supervise my factory here in the village. Ah. Huh. Oh, Gosson. That one is too big for me. And it's not my line of business. I thought as much. Now, uh, what kind of business do you want to go into? And how much is your estimate? You know, I was uh, importing used tires before. But when the customs seized my goods because government banned importation of used tires, it crumbled my business. So, if by the grace of God, God helps me, I want to start importing new tires now. Yeah, but you can on change line of business. Um, I'm also thinking in that line. Okay. Well, if you're a specialist in that, that's okay. Um, Come by the house tomorrow morning. We'll just uh, put one or two things together and sort you out. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. Thank you very much. Even for remembering me at all. I'm grateful. Ah, uh, come on. I look, I have made money. And it's my duty to help everybody in this village. I'm investing. Thank you, sir. So swing by the house in the morning and then I'll sort you out. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay. See what I do? I invest in people. And it's really good, you know. You can also be my investment. Of course, yes. <laughs> I am already. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. This is cool hundred thousand naira. Eh? That Austin gave to me. So, Austin actually gave this money to you? I'm telling you. Say that you use it to start business. Ha! Eh? Oh. Oh. Hey! Oh, my hand is blessed. God will bless that man. Oh, I'm telling you. Eh? So, God has finally answered our prayers. Oh, Jesus. thank you, Jesus. Funny for me, ask. When did he say you're going to pay this money back? Pay back. This is Dash. He said that she's not bother paying back. Hey! Oh, God. Thank God, I won't pay back, though. This is Dash. Hey, Jesus. Are you serious? Hey, Atagoma. Oh. Hey! God. God will continue to bless that man. Hey? Oh. Hey? Every day I will. That man is will, so nice. I'm tell, I will kneel down and pray for hey. him.
Yeah. Hey, brother, he's back. <laughs> hey, baby, how are you? I'm fine, brother. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All the trouble you've been making since I was born is going to end today. What do you mean by that? Because I have finally fulfilled your terms of reference. And that's the girl I intend to marry. Her name is Rose. No. Oh my God, brother, I'm so happy for you. You're welcome again. Thank you so much. Well, I haven't finished my introductions. Okay. So that my younger sister, her name is Nena. Okay. She is trouble. Oh, please, brother, I'm still here, seriously. <laughs> well, she's on vacation from England. That's where she lives. Okay. Hi. You, you are welcome <laughs> again. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> See this guy here, my brother? He said that I give him lots of trouble. That is very true. But all of that has come to an end today because he is just proving himself a responsible man. And look at Way to go, brother. Designer. Just look way to go. And who is defining go, responsibility? Brother. Look at that. Look at this rat. Way to go. <laughs> well, you go in there and make some food for me. I'm starving. You're kidding, right? Oh, you seriously got to be kidding me because... I ain't making no food. Mm -mm. You, babes, your work just started right now. Can you go in there and make you, food for your husband. You imagine? Meanwhile, have food. Go in there, make some food for your husband. Meanwhile, where is my phone? I have a phone call to make. I'm calling Brother Joe. Come on, brother. Don't call anybody. Don't call anybody. I'm not married yet. Oh my gosh, she's so full of you trouble. Work. I told you. Please, you have to understand. My husband traveled for his business trip. When he comes back, your money will be paid. He traveled on his business trip. Why, Ma, you've given me this nonsense reason time without number. Eh? After all, what kind of business is, do, is your husband doing that is now raising dust in this village? Although, do I blame you? Sooner or later, he will come back to stay with us here in this village. God forbid! Naibe! My husband will never join you in, in, in this village again. In Jesus' name, hey. he will be growing from strength to strength. It's all right. He shall never join you in this village. Okay, don't worry. When next I come for that money, we will know who has strength. That is, the day we will know who is growing from strength to strength. Just wait for me, I'm coming. Kill us if you don't get your money. I will not mind him that just the loss of my father's progress is his new business. Things for him. Keep them. Give them to him when he comes back. Uh, 
Come to my house today. I hope all is well. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh -huh. I brought some things for you. Ah, thank you. Very thoughtful of you. No, let's go inside. I'm very naughty. No, sir. Uh, I left some things. Until I'm going to take care of it. Okay. Uh, okay. You're always giving excuses. Huh? Okay, let me give to your son. Next time. Dalo, I appreciate. I appreciate. Dalo. Okay. But now we'll take. All right, Dalo. Bye bye, sir. A symbol of a good woman. So even if we all know that this woman husband is poor, she won't even look at any other man. What was it? Guy. Stop talking like a Jew, man. Stop talking as if you're not a Lagos guy. Forget Lagos. Sir. It's just a matter of time and uh, seriousness. See, we get down on our back. What are you saying? I hear you. Okay. Sammy is right. Don't you see the number of rich and handsome men in this our town? Who have tried their best to the extent of returning home every weekend just to try her down? Bestie, no way! Even her brother Charles hates her just because she got married to a poor man. Oh, just imagine. See, I'm using myself as an example. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, you are a fool. And since when did you become a Ask them now. a professional toaster? Nah, yes, nah, yes, nah, yes, nah, yes, I mean, guy, why, um, why did Charles get that uh, 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 You know, he believes that it's an innocent charmed her. If not, how could he have married his beautiful sister? So what, what else? Up another hardship. See, ask any one around this village. She has never for one day insulted her husband. Hmm? After all, some rich men's wives deflate around like no man's business. <laughs> well, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Too. All I know is that one day, a well do man will just get her down. That's what I know. What are you saying? So, what are you waiting for? Oh, oh, yeah. You know what I can do now? Yeah. Actually, I'm now. Well, 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 you know what I'm doing? I'm going to go to the world. I'm going to go to Mr. Austin gave you and your husband so And so what? And so what, Charles? And so what? Do you think everybody's as heartless as you are? Eh? Do you think everybody's as heartless as you are, Charles? 
What fools, what animals like you neglect others' value, okay? Ooh. Yes. Okay. Why are you shouting off the top of your voice? I don't know you where. Mama, leave me. Let me talk to this idiot. Let me talk to this animal that is here that I carried his shit with my two bare hands. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Let me talk to him. It's okay. It's okay, Leo. Don't you feel the silence of the neighbors? And so what? Has he not spread my dirty linings outside? Has he not? Has he not disgraced me enough? Neighbors, come and hear me. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Why are you here? Mama, come inside. Let me tell you why I'm here. Charles. Charles, your sister is right. Eh, uh, Sopala's club. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not ashamed that your sister have somebody like you? And they are going about, going around begging money to people that are not even related to them at all. While you are here, sitting comfortably. The best thing for you to do is just go in there, make her happy. Just make her happy, make sure that you are in good terms with her. That's the best you can do for yourself. But my wife, Auntie, this one you came visiting. Oh, there is no problem. Now. Auntie, there's no problem. Okay. I'm just coming from my village. In fact, he doesn't even know that I came to see you. <laughs> are you serious? Yes. How are your parents doing? Auntie, they are very fine. Yeah. Um, where is Amichi? I've not seen him. My dear, oh. hmm. Amichi went to school. He's not yet back. Okay. Um. Oh, Auntie, I got those things for you on my way here. Yeah. Hey! Thank you very much. God will bless you for me. Hey? Amen. God will bless you for me. Amen. Oh. Amen. Hey? That's why I'm always talking about you now. Auntie. My beautiful wife. My beautiful <laughs> wife. Oh, thank Auntie. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey, Auntie. Hmm? How about your husband's new business? How is he doing? Hope he's doing well. My dear, God is wonderful. God is wonderful. Do you know that God used Austin to wipe off our tears? How? Who is Austin? Austin. Austin is the man that gave my husband money for his new business now. <laughs> I don't understand you, Auntie. Does it mean that it was not Charles that gave your husband the money to start up his new business? Charles? Who is Charles? <sighs> oh my God. He told me he was the one that gave you the money for the business. Charles gave my husband money for his new business. Hmm. Oh, no, I know he will be lying. It was Austin, you know. It was Austin who gave my husband money for his new business. Charles never gave my husband a dime. And please, don't let um, Charles' issue spoil our babe. Hey, that reminds me. How are you doing in your new business? Auntie, we're trying, you know, we're managing. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, auntie, eh? Yeah. Who owns this car? Okay, it's Mamu Kichu's son's car. Makedo. Hope there is no problem, sir. No problem. I just came to see you. How about your husband? He's fine. He traveled, but I think he'll come back tomorrow. Mm. You know, you're a very beautiful woman. Thank you, sir. It's the last going. <laughs> 
Hmm. Come close, let's talk. I should come closer. Mm -hmm. Now tell me something. Your husband's business. Honestly, do you think he's doing well? Well, sir. He's trying his best. It's just that. I know what you're trying to say. All right. Let's go to my house. My cook traveled. I wanted to cook for me. I can't come to your house at this time of the night, sir. Anything wrong with that? No, sir. Um, but since you're hungry, I have food in the house. Come on. <laughs> if you know the quantity of meat I eat, you don't have it in that house. Okay. I'll come to your house tomorrow morning with my friend. Come with, come with your friend? What kind of person are you? You want your friend to start chasing me? Huh? What I would have given you, you guys will start dividing it into two. You're too big for that. Come alone. Mm. Okay, sir. I'll come. That's my lady. Okay. Good morning. Okay. All right, sleep well. Good night. Travel, asking me to come and cook food for him in his house. And what did you tell him? I told him no now. I told him I will come in the morning with my friend. But he refused. That was when I knew he was up to no good. Just I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why this man can't take his eyes off me. I don't know. Eh? You don't know why this man cannot take his eyes off him? Mama, it's because you are too beautiful. Yes. Josephine, am I the one that created myself? Mama, mm? you and I know what Austin wants from you. Why don't you just give it to him? Yes, just give it to him. Do you know what it means for somebody to bring out such amount of money and give somebody without security? In this hard time, Mama, in this hard time. But Austin did it for you and your husband. Eh? Anyway, there's no big deal, dear. Just a question of... Two minutes and the whole thing is over. Just dress up and go. Yes. Yes. Josephine. Josephine. Is this the kind of advice you're giving to your friend? Josephine. Hi! Send me well to your husband. Ah. Eh? My, it's okay. That was nothing to that now. It's okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay? I'm sorry now. Go, please now. Look at somebody I'm even trying to help. Ah, please just go. Imagine. Uh, You're not checking anything. Did he offer you anything? No, I told them not to bother. Oh, okay, please, sir. Thank you, sir. I haven't seen you in a very long while. I've been worried about your business. How are you doing? God has been doing wonders with your money in my life. Hmm. I, I am planning just next week to go to the city to negotiate for a shop because uh, by the grace of God, maybe in the next, uh, let's say, two months, I will now go with my family to the city and continue with the business. Thank you, sir. I can see you're trying, but I'm not satisfied. You want to go to the city to rent a shop? You want to move your whole family over to the city? That's 
that's not what I want for you. I want you to get a boy to manage the shop. And then, on my own side, because I have promised you I'm going to make you a man, I'll give you four million naira to re-energize your importation business. That way you can stand here on your own. You don't have to depend on anybody. And then I will establish a big business for your wife. I want your family to know that there's somebody who has their progress and interest at heart. Million nine. Mm -hmm. God bless you. God has blessed me and I'm trying to bless others. Only God can thank you. It's okay. Thank you very much. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hey. <laughs> what a man. Finally, I got you. <laughs> Free lunch. <laughs>
go to Innocent's house. Bring the wife now, now. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. Don't waste time. Use the raka. said I should come and bring you to the house. Eh? Oh, he's in a hurry. You might miss him if you don't hurry. Just hope there is no problem. No. I am serious. You are sure there is no problem? Very, very sure. Eh, okay, I'm coming. TV. Enjoy various genres of entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite delivered channels in your favorite languages French, English, Swahili, Sweet, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, and so on. Afarevo Dubbing Services. With the largest number of dubbing studios in Africa, we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, Wolof. Zulu, and so on. Afarevo YouTube, the largest YouTube partner in Africa, with over 500 channels of top African entertainment and millions of eyeballs daily. We help thousands of video creators make money on YouTube. Afarevo, the revolution is on. Mama. Good day, sir. Good day. Hi, sit down. No. Thank you. Something to drink? No, I'm fine, thank you. If you say so. Well, I sent for you because I want to inform you that I'm going back to the city. Yes, your driver told me. <laughs> Relax. Free, free with me. Well, uh, I think your husband must have also told you that I promised giving him four million naira, yes. and also setting up a very good business for you. Yes, he told me. Thank you very much for everything. Yeah? My God will surely reward you for everything you have done for me and my husband. Mm, Mama, that is the check for four million naira. Hey. Let me have it back. Yeah. It's not signed yet. Okay. Your husband getting this check is in your hands. Your husband losing this money is also in your hands. So you make a decision. I, I don't understand, sir. Make, make me understand. <laughs> Mama. Yeah. Uh, why are you talking like a small girl? Listen, the reason why I come to the village every weekend is just to admire your beauty. DJ Marlo, four million naira can transform your life. It's a whole lot of money. 
Nossa. Aí. Aí. Just take this. Make me happy. I'm man. The Bobo has a charm me fair. I beg your pardon, Austin. So you want me to sell my husband's pride to you? You can keep the pig, give me the ride. Now I know. Ma, hey. Ruben. Why? Why is it now that I have problem in business and has relocated to this village that all these rich men want to marry? Tell me. Where will I get all the money to compete with them? Honey, I've told you time without number. I love you. And nothing can stop me from loving you. You're my husband. Money or no money, you are my husband. Okay. All those men, where were they? Where were they during all those difficult times? But you stood by me. You stood by me. I love you. I don't understand. You see, poverty and a beautiful woman do not go hand in hand. Is it that the poverty runs away? Or the beautiful woman runs away? And when she runs away, she will run into the hand of a rich man. That is just the way it works. Okay. I'm not running away. Okay. I, I, I want to prove to you. I want to prove to you how much I love you. making love to me. Are you 
satisfied now. How am I going to tell the people of this village that why is less us to that sit by the candle?
Um, it's me, Innocent. On this way. Okay, um, is your guy in? Uh, what's the He gave me an appointment. I see him now, 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 now. Okay, very nice stop. Okay, okay, thank you. should have done is to rally around two or three men who will help you handle matters. Like that note which you got from your wife should have been used to go and report to the police. And possibly they'll help you to take the cops to the mortuary. You see? Never mind. You were pushed to the wall. There's nothing one can do about that. Uh, right now I've sent some young men to bring a vehicle so that we can go Put your wife in the mortuary. That's the best thing, the only best thing for you now. Huh? <laughs> hey! Don't come over here! 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 It's all right. You be talking about it. It's all right. You can't arrest me. 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 You can't arrest me.
Linda, hurry up. You're going to miss your flight. Now what do you now want? We want to 
will see in a set. Shebe, I don't tell you now, make you now know they come this station, come this stop us because of that man. Officer, please, we need to see the man. It's been long you locked him up in that cell. Please, allow us to talk with him. I'm begging you. I know if you do anything for him, I beg. The matter pass me. Make you now just begin the go. Make you now begin the one. Make you now the one. This matter now, that matter, that matter. Make you now begin the go. Make you now the go. What's that problem with this? I Innocent is still in detention. Yes. And it's going to be there for a very long time. Honey, don't you think you're taking this thing too far? Please, I beg you, just let him go. Okay? Let him go. Because of our family. Don't you think it's going to be worse if he dies in there? I'll think about it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Austin, our son. Please do something. Do something. Austin is there in the police cell languishing. Tell the police to allow us to take him on there. Please. Yes, please. If not for anything, but for the sake of his little son, Amici. Please, we beg you. Please. Igwe. Mm -hmm. Nietzsche. Mm -hmm. I have heard you. But I want to make it known here. Innocent hurt me very much. Calling me a rapist, a murderer. It's like how people always say, you call somebody a madman in the marketplace. Had you not moved to everybody after the market has dispersed, that's not a matter. My image is at stake here. But I'll forgive him. I'll tell the police to raise him, but on one condition. Which is the condition? That he comes before the Igwe Council and all men and women of this town and tell them the allegations he leveled against me were all false. Ah. Is that all? Is that all? Yes. Well, well, well. Uh, please. I promise you, he will do exactly what you say. Yes. It's your good get. Let's go and see him. Of course. What? Uh, what? Mm. Uh, I'm happy with what has happened here now. Mostly with uh, Austin for honoring this impromptu. Thank you very much. I'm sure you're happy with Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Cheers. Now, you can go and see Innocent. I'm telling you exactly what Austin has said. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. to one month and he's asking me to apologize to him I would rather die here no. to apologizing to that animal no, no, no. Innocent. you will not die here you better come out allow God to revenge for you hmm? um you know our son like your mother-in-law said we know what happened. I'll advise you to accept the condition and get out of this place. 
Remember that your wife's corpse is still in the mortuary and must be buried. It's teaching time. Saves life. Please. Do you know that Amichi cries every day? Amichi has been crying. Amichi has been crying since. And I want you to tell me what his future will be if he remains here. <laughs> tell me. Justice is God, love is God. Justice is bought and sold. As money rules the world. Igwe. I am here. To apologize to Arthur. <laughs> Concerning the false accusation I leveled against him for the rape and the death of my wife. Forgive me. It is the work of the devil. <laughs> but I stand here to cause whoever did this to her, the person shall never know peace in his life. Amen. Austin, I am sure that you've had him. Do you have anything to say? He will. I've heard him. I pray this will not repeat itself. I have also forgiven him because the truth has been told. I call the Honorable Commission of Police to tell him we have settled for him to release his wife's corpse to him. Thank you very much. Innocent. Next time before you accuse anybody of anything, you must make sure that what you're accusing the person of is the truth. Now go and arrange for the burial of your wife. It's all finished. Truth is dead. Justice is gone. Love is called. Justice is bought and sold. As money rules the world. Justice is gone, love is cold, justice is bought and sold, as money rules the world. Has he been released? Well, the police have released him because he confessed. Confessed to what? That he lied against me. You don't say. But what did he do that for? Just to tarnish my image. Imagine somebody, I tried to render every form of assistance. All he could do was pay me back in bad coins. 
Anyway, it's all in the past now. Just give me food. I'm hungry. I'm starving. Human beings, they can be so unpredictable. I'm so sorry, dear. Let me get your food. And meanwhile, before I forget, your brother Joe and Nena called last night, so I told them everything that happened. I mean, why would you discuss such things? That's an entire matter here. I just, I didn't know. Don't do that this time. Okay, thank you. I'm coming. that you are meant to be. <laughs> if you continue like this, tell me what do you expect me and mother to do. Amici is in there for you. And you have to encourage him. Please, I beg you. <laughs> I want to go back to my house today. and we have to tackle it before it gets out of hand. What is it, Mama? You see, your sister is dead. 
leaving her husband and child, Amechi. And ever since then, I don't understand innocent. I don't understand him at all. He's behaving as someone who is losing his senses. No, God forbid. My in-law. No, that can happen, Mama. I'm happy. I'm happy you now regard him as your own. I'm happy you now take him as a member of this family. I want you to do something. I want you to show him some sign of care. I heard he has returned the money Austin gave to him. So, what do we do now? What do we do? I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe you will take um, Amechi to the city with you. Take him and train him there. At least to show Innocent some sign of care. Show him that he belongs to this family. <clears throat> You see, Mama, your idea is nice, but will Innocent accept to that? Why not? Will he agree to this? Why not? He will. He will. Well, I think we will discuss it with him. That will be tomorrow, Mama. Ibe, you mean Innocent actually returned all the money I've given him so far? How ungrateful can people be? I saw a dance man in a pit and I tried to lift him from that pit. And that's the way he wants to pay me back. From today, I will stop helping anybody from this time. No, don't say so, my son, Master. Is it because someone refused to appreciate your kind gesture? Eh? No. I guess you see more at all. We can't because that people die in the, in the front and refuse to go to war. Or do we stop drinking from a particular river because somebody drowned in that same river? No. I know. That there are so many people in this village who will appreciate your kindness if you give this money to them. Don't be angry, Master. Please. Don't be angry. Ibu, this money has already been deducted from my account a long time ago. I want you to keep it for yourself. I know. I'm worried. I have enough. I'm worried. You need to do so many things. You do it. Yeah. Okay. That's why Mama and I came. Let me take our Meiji to the city with me. I'll make sure I train him to any level of education he wants. It's a promise. I've heard him. At least to reduce the burden for you. <laughs> I've heard. I've heard what what both of you have said. I've heard you. Amechi. Yes, Daddy. Did you hear that? Yes, Daddy. So what did you say? Daddy, if you ask me to go with you, I will. You will go with them. But remember, to continue to be a good boy when you get there. Daddy, I promise you are already a good father to me. How about you? So, Milo, you would have to 
get him prepared because I'll be coming by tomorrow to pick him. I will. I will. I will. Instead of helping him get over the situation, we are here trying to aggravate the situation. No. It is unfair. You know what, yes, sir. You know what? You will. Uh, please. If we don't do anything with this level in this matter, I, which is here, I will resign from this cabinet. Me too. Yes, are you threatening us? You can never threaten us. Oh, Want you to make known to you our decision concerning the allegation leveled against Augustine. With all due respect, Igwe, I am not a party to that decision. To Igwe, I am not. What is wrong with the both of you? And why must you say that? Why must you that? Why must you express an opinion? Why must you? Must you say that? Why must you say that? It's okay. It's okay. And that's it's okay. It's okay. It's not me. Sit down. Sit down. Igwe, please, if I may ask, what is the false allegation that I made against us? Demonstrate. Let me give you the answer to that question. You laid a false allegation against Augustine that she raped your wife, which resulted to her death. You later apologized to him, didn't you? Now, do you know the implication of that? Cabinet 
have concluded that you must bring the following items. One he goes, big one, big one no. Take two bags of yam, twenty gallons of amber, and seven gallons. This must be done within seven days. Do you hear that? Innocent, do you hear that? Innocent, I sent for you based on what happened at Igwe's palace two days ago. I want to ask, how do you want to handle that situation? Are you going to give them all those things they requested from you? Because I and uh, Ichi Ezala have discussed at length and we arrived at a conclusion that you must not give them anything, even a piece of cola nut. I know that you and the Chie Ezan we are not part of the gathering. Mm. And I appreciate you for that. You see, I will give them all that they requested. I've lost my wife. They can as well take everything they ask. One thing I know is that often will never, never, never see peace in his life because he's the cause of all these problems. So, take heart. It's one of those hurdles a man passes in his life. Yes, take heart. Take heart. Thanks for your Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God yeah. bless you. Yes, it's all right. here all alone. I'm talking to you. What is the matter? I'm thinking. What could a small boy like you be thinking at this age? I'm thinking about my mother. Whenever I remember that she died, it pains me a lot. I don't even know the condition of my father in the village. Is that why you are sitting here all alone? Let me tell you, your mother is dead and there is nothing anybody can do about it. As for your father, your father is all right in the village. But uncle, I want to go to the village and see him. I said your father is all right. It's okay. I want to see him. Okay, I will go to the village and bring him to the city. Do you like that? <laughs> I wish you my boy. You see, there's something I'm arranging. I want to take you to a place you like very well. Come on, go and get prepared. I wish you my boy. <laughs> Send innovator. The only man that discovers all virus in the tube and tire. Innocent. What's wrong with you? Tio, you're welcome. Eh? I've been here for some time now. What can I do for you? I want you to change my back tube tire, my back, my back tire tube. Um, 
you know, you have to come back later because I have some little, little work to do. Huh? Just come back later. That's all right. So how much is it? Don't bother. Don't worry about money. Money won't be problem between us now. Huh? When you come back. If you say so. At this time of the day, why have you not done my job? Eh? You told me to go and come back later. Look at my machine, and you are still sleeping at this time of the day. Machine? Did you bring any machine yet? You are asking me. You are still asking me question. Eh? Sorry. I'm highly disappointed. In short, I, I didn't know you brought any machine yet. I didn't know. I'm going. Don't worry, tomorrow you say God is not blessing you with job. I'm going. And I'm not, I'm not going to come back here. I didn't even know you are heartless like this. No sense.
So, you are saying you saw Austin in a fast food joint with a girl? Rose, I told you that because you're my friend. I didn't tell you that to start making trouble with your husband. Whatever hurts you hurts me, okay? The reason I kept quiet all this while is because I thought your husband would have changed. But things are getting out of hand. Please go. Hmm? Okay. Hmm? Don't Austin. take that. Austin. So this is what you do each time you step outside. No problem. You will meet me at home. Don't worry. He's going to meet me at home. Go, go, go. Let's go inside. Please, don't worry. Please, come out. Go in. How many years of marriage? I cannot believe that you still step outside this house and follow everything in skirts. Hey, Austin. Austin, after how many children? Eh? Young woman, mind the things you say. Mind the things you say to me. You should be ashamed of yourself that at your age you still listen to such cheap gossips. And tell whoever told you, man or woman, that that person has got no business. Just, just, just listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. Tell whoever told you, man or woman, that that person has no business. You cannot even defend it. Hey, Austin, do you know what you are? You are just good for nothing. That is what you are. And how am I sure that you weren't the one who raped and killed innocent wife? Huh? How am I sure? For the last time, I want you mind how you talk to me. <laughs> Austin, you can't do anything. Read my lips, you can't do anything. And listen, the next time you try that again, you have to tell The next time you try it, I will deal with you in this house. Whatsoever to want to disorganize my home. What would she be doing that for? Sister, I have heard so many stories, my ears are filled. And each time I hear it, I keep coming to complain to you. Sister, I'm telling you this for the last time, oh. I'm telling you this for the last time. Because next time it happens, I'm going to do something very drastic. Very drastic. I don't even know what my husband is turning into. So, I know, I know. You've been complaining to me about this. But you don't have to kill yourself. Hey? What are you fighting for? Tell me, you have everything a woman needs. Eh? But then what are you, what is it you are lacking, Rose? Tell me. See, I'll advise you to leave Austin. If he likes, let him carry the old women in town. Let him be. Oh, thank you very much, sister. Rose, thank you very much. So I should sit down and watch another woman march majestically into my house and take over. Sister, it is not possible. It will not happen. Rose, I have told you, if it happens again, What's up? Rose, sister, Mm. 
when did you arrive? It's not been long. I've not even reached my village. Oh yeah, you're welcome, man. Thank you. Um, how is Amechi? I know he must be a big boy now. Amechi is fine. That's nice. Just that there's a little problem. Is he sick? No. Or has he committed any? Uh, no, 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 no. No. You see, Amechi disturbs me every day that he wants to see you. Oh yeah. And that is one of the reasons why I came. Why, why didn't you come with him? You see, my in law was thinking if you could come along with me to the city and stay with us for a while. Huh? It's okay. It's okay. That will be alright. When will you be going back? Tomorrow. First thing tomorrow. Morning. Tomorrow? Oh, oh to see. Wow. That means I'll stop with her. Yes. Yeah, please. When you reach, I greet Mama for me. No problem. Everybody, eh? I hope you're doing well in business. I'm fine. I hope the government have not done something else again. Well, you know now. <laughs> Until it peaks. Uh -huh. Step on the throttle. Pick it. Pick it. Hello. Good, good. Hello. Mr. Anderson. How are you? Sorry, I can't remember. How can you forget so soon? The lawyer that was stranded along the express road some years back at about 8 p.m. I had a flat tire and I had no spare of mine. You gave me yours. Don't you remember? I even gave you my business card that night. But it's toward you. Get that word right. I was a sign back then. Now I am a judge. Congratulations. Thank you, very much. Thank you. So what are you doing here? Well, uh, I actually stay in the village now. But uh, my son is staying with my brother-in-law in the city. So I came to see them. He was actually dropping me at the park when his car had problems. So I decided to fix up certain things for him. I'm, I'm, I'm a vulcanizer now. In the village? Why? Well, no condition is permanent. It's a long story. What about your family? Are they staying in the village with you now? This is unbelievable. Hmm? You mean somebody that blood runs in his veins did this to you and lives in this town? Yes. What about that letter written by your wife before she died? You know, I confronted him and he denied it. So I gave him the letter to read. After reading it, he tore it to pieces. Oh my God, he shouldn't have. It could have been a good evidence. <sighs> what do you do now for a living? I am a vulcanizer. You know, when the customs these my second hand tires. I started repairing tires so that I can raise enough capital to start importing new ones. So, Hello, Agnes. 
<laughs> I'm fine, and you? Uh, yeah, I'm just coming out from the salon. Oh, the money! Oh, I forgot, I forgot. Um, okay, come to the house, okay? Just come to the house. Let me rush down to the house so I can give it to you. I'm so sorry, dear. Okay, alright. <laughs> bye bye.
Agnes. <laughs> yes, yes. Bra Frank. Did what? Killed Rose, our sister. How? Okay, just hold on. I will take the next available flight to Enugu. Just keep an eye on him. Yes, keep an eye on him. said the defendant gave you this check. Yes, my lord, he did. You see, my lord, since this case is in your court, please, my lord, I want you to tell her justice with mercy. Please, my lord, set him free. Set him free? Yes, my lord. Are you out of your mind? You have the gut to come into my house to talk this rubbish to me, to buy me with five million naira, to influence my judgment Oh, this is how some of you bad lawyers kill the good reputation of other good lawyers and judges in the judiciary system. <sighs> Let me ask you something. Do you know this man before? Yes, my lord, I do. You do? Yes, sir. Do you know how many crimes he has committed? Do you know how many people he has killed? And you have the audacity to tell me, free him. I will keep this check and I will use it in the court of law against both of you. Please, my lord, I'm on my knees. Please. I've only come to ask for your help. Please, my lord, help this man. Shut up. Shut up. Get out of my house now before I hand you over to the police. Jesus. How are you, Austin? I'm fine. How did it go? Austin, you need to see how the man embarrassed me today in his house. I was really ashamed of myself being involved in this case. He seized the check, threatening to use it as an evidence against me in court. <gasps> you kept back the check? That's evidence against us. That's not good news. Austin. Is there anything you're not telling me? Because the way the man was speaking, it's as if there is something else attached to this case. Austin, I'm confused. I'm more confused. It's okay, okay? It's okay. Take it easy, it's okay. Uh, Nina and I were just coming from the mortuary. Austin is very wicked. How could he do such a thing to his wife? And make sure he pays diary for it. I promise you. Yes. I promise. <laughs> Auntie Rose. <laughs> Why did you leave me? Why? <laughs> sake of his two children, I appeal to you to temper justice with mercy. Joe! Do you realize what you're saying? No. Agnes, allow him let me say his mind. <sighs> All I am saying is that my brother's children, I mean your sister's children, our children, 
should not be allowed to lose both parents at the same time. If we allow Austin to die for this crime, what are we going to tell his uh, children by the time they grow up? Until then, we'll know what to tell them. But are we going to lie to them? Even if we do, what about people out there? Will they also lie to them? Father <laughs> Frank, Auntie Agnes, I beg you to listen to what Brother Joe is saying. <laughs> we all know that what Brother Austin did is unpardonable. But two wrongs can make a right. Firstly, it is not legally right for you people to come to my house vis-a-vis -vis the case. There is somebody in your village I would like you to meet. The outcome of the meeting will go a long way in helping us to resolve the case. Do I make myself clear? have tried their best to get you out of this dungeon and also from the court. But the problem we have now is that uh, the judge is a close friend of innocent. The judge has given us audience, we talked to him and uh, we talked to innocent too, who stamped his foot on the ground and said that unless you come home and tell his people what you did to his wife that led to her death, That the condition he gave? Uh, that is what he told us. So.
thank you. My people, without wasting time, Augustine here has something to tell us. Augustine, you can proceed. Igwe, please, I want you to help me to beg innocent for the wrong I did to his family. What did you do to his family? I raped his wife. <laughs> and if I hadn't done that, she wouldn't have killed herself. So please, Igwe, Igwe. You know my car, you are now, Igwe. Igwe, Igwe, Igwe. You did this! Augustine, for this your wicked and stupid act, you are banished from this community for 20 years. And after which, we tell you the next thing to do. Take him! Take him back! Black can be white If you know what to say Red can be blue If you have money Shut our eyes, we have closed our hearts, our conscience is silent. The world has gone astray as money rules the world. Truth is there, justice is gone, love is cold, justice is born. TV. Enjoy various genres of entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite delivered channels in your favorite languages French, English, Swahili, Sri, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, and so on. Afarevo Dubbing Services. With the largest number of dubbing studios in Africa, we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, Wolof, Zulu, and so on. Afarevo YouTube, the largest YouTube partner in Africa, with over 500 channels of top African entertainment and millions of eyeballs daily, we help thousands of video creators make money on YouTube. Afarevo, the revolution is on.